Well, as you heard from Alec before the break, we're unpacking Redefined Properties, which recently announced the restructuring of its board company's financial director, Andrew Koenig, who's now been appointed as CEO, and he joins us mm. now in studio in your Redefined Colors, no doubt. I am indeed. Thank you for having me, Google. Good to have you with us. Let's mm. touch on Mark Wayner for a moment or two. I've had a couple of interviews mm. with him, and he's an, a fantastic individual. He shoots from the hip, calls a spade a spade. But I understand he's 65 years of age. He's moved to the executive chairman post. Is this his way of uh, entering into early retirement? Mark will never retire. <laughs> he's, he's got uh, the property industry coursing through his veins, and he doesn't stop. He is always thinking about the next deal. And what we've done with Mark is we've now positioned him to do what he loves, mm -hmm. and that is to, to grow and diversify, redefine, um, whilst I'll be looking after the shop and him being free to pursue the, the best property deal for us. That means he'll be having a lot of coffee and lunch appointments, no doubt, I can imagine. As I said, Mark never rests. So even when he's at home at night, he's busy thinking about the business and also um, planning the next move. Mm. Andrew, let's come to you. You're 47, as I was through your website this uh, morning, uh, uh, all updated mm. and up to speed. But you're 47, one of the youngest members on this team. Tell us more about your background. Okay, just to go back, um, in about 1992, I, I qualified as a chartered accountant. I did my articles with KPMG. Shortly after um, uh, qualifying, I actually moved into commerce. And I spent the bulk of my 22-odd um, years in the media industry. Mm -hmm. uh, I was the group financial director of independent news and media for a good 12-odd years. I then spent a bit of time in, in the casino business, just on three years. And I've been the past four years at Redefine in the capacity of financial director. Mm. The skills that you might have picked up, though, from Mark, I understand your offices aren't too far from each other. We're within um, walking distance of our, our offices. Uh, we spend a lot of time chatting about the business. And um, yes, I have the, the best view in the building. I think that's why it comes to me more <laughs> often than I to him. But we, we, we do talk a lot and, and um, we have a fantastic working relationship. From media to gaming, commerce and now property, particular nuances. You practically a bean counter, but now in the chief executive mm -hmm. position, uh, that, that's going to change quite a bit. It, it has changed, but you, but you know, when you move into um, the, the financial director role, yes, the numbers speak to everything. But underlying that, um, people drive the business and its relationships that count, and that is what ultimately um, sets you apart. And um, I, I believe I'm a people's person, and um, I've got good relationships with everyone I work with. I understand what drives the business, where the numbers get come together, how they come together, and mm. what, ma what makes the business work. So in every one of my roles, I've always immersed myself into the operations. And, uh, and that, that is important. Almost reminds me of your tagline, uh, we're not landlords, eh? we're people. But I want to mm. touch on the growth strategy going forward for Redefine because that's what a lot of shareholders will want to hear from you today. Yes. A Fountainhead is a very important acquisition. Absolutely. Fountainhead is um, effectively one of the largest uh, uh, pieces of the puzzle that we're putting together in restructuring our po property portfolio. About three years ago, we began repositioning the portfolio to focus on, on properties of scale, higher quality, well-located properties. And, and where Redefine had a gap in its um, portfolio was in the retail aspects of, of, of the business. Mm. Fountainhead brings with it a very nice, complete solution to the, the, the retail side of the portfolio. And that's why it is really important for us to succeed in acquiring those assets. It's interesting you mentioned retail because there are also a lot of s other smaller uh, retail property players that have recently listed. First that comes to mind is Safari. Yes. They're new to the JSC. Would that be a potential target for you as well going forward? Uh, you know, Safari's got a very different portfolio um, to, to, to the one that we are pursuing. I, I would suggest not. Um, we are looking at malls in excess of 20,000 square meters mm -hmm. that are well located and are um, of scale. Uh, you know, we want to be in areas that will stand the test of time. And, and you need to be well located and have a, a complete offering. And, and that's why Fountainhead for us, as I said earlier, is, is important. That must need a lot of uh, money in the bank for the other uh, acquisitive acquisitions that you want to do in future. How much have you got in the kitty at the moment? And are you looking at increasing this capital going forward? Just to explain, um, we work on a loan-to-value ratio on a balance sheet of between 35 to 40 percent. So whenever a new acquisition comes along, we have to have a, have a look at, at how we balance the loan-to-value ratio. So that will mean either going to our investors, who have been very supportive all along in terms of pursuing a growth um, strategy, mm. and, and also to our debt funders. 
So we don't really have money in the bank earmarked for expansion. When we find an opportunity, that's when we go back and we, we look at funding sources. And they, with that comes a mix, as I said, of equity and debt, mm -hmm. which, which um, as I said, we, we have been blessed with very supportive both investors as well as um, funders. Another um, element of capital raising initiatives that I want to touch on is your ADR, your American Depository Receipt. It's going to turn a year in September this year. The reception? The reception, unfortunately, hasn't been um, good at all. Um, uh, we, we wait very patiently for a taker in, in our ADR. Uh, it is there. Um, we, we should be marketing it a lot more actively, and, and we will be looking at doing that in the, in the new year. Um, but for now, it, 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 it's an offering out there for the potential American investor. We do have a lot of um, international investors. About 17% of our share register, mm -hmm. from what we can see, is from international sources. So they are coming in direct uh, as opposed to the ADR. Andrew, good to have you with us today. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. That was a newly appointed Chief Executive of Redefined Properties and a familiar face that investors will have to get used to, Andrew Koenig, Chief Executive of Redefine.